Good morning, June 14th today, Sunday morning. Um, I look forward to Sundays every week. Um, the last couple months, it was hard because we weren't meeting, but uh, now we're back on and, and I'm looking, looking forward to it uh, each week. And, and that, that's getting a little bit stronger each week too. Um, and, uh, but today, this morning, uh, we're, we're starting out in our studies of Nehemiah. And in Nehemiah, he was, he was uh, um, really uh, uh, just like Ezra was, um, not necessarily a scribe, but um, he was, you know, he was a, a servant of the king um, and uh, uh, one, an adversary who was, who was uh, sent uh, to um, breathe wisdom and words into the kings. Um, but Nehemiah, you know, uh, um, again, he was pretty parallel to, to Ezra, um, and and both of them were very conscious about um, doing what was right in 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 the eyes of God. Um, Nehemiah, we're we're seeing him um, really. He's a prayer warrior, um, but he just doesn't pray. You know, he acts. He puts. Uh, um, some some rubber to the ground um, along with his prayers, you know, as he rebu- rebuilds the wall of Jerusalem, as he, de- de- you know, takes care of certain things. Um, he intercedes, you know, for the people of Israel. He doesn't lose sight of the fact that he's an Israelite and, and, and uh, you know, he's called to, to um, go and give them truth and to be a part of their lives and to, to again, to show them who God is. And, and I think that's so important. Again, prayer, I mean, prayer is such a, a crucial dynamic of, uh, of um, you know, our lives as, as, uh, as Christians um, who are willing and able to intercede for, for um, uh, people and for areas of, uh, of spiritual growth. Um, you know, today in, in service, we're going to be talking about um, being doers of the word and not just hearers. And, and that's such an important aspect because, um, you know, it's, it's so easy to be hearers and, and to be honest, you know, spew scripture and to, um, you know, show off what, you know, people know, um, you know, a lot of people, I know a lot of people that, that um, you know, they, they just know um, just, just uh, bunches of scripture. I mean, they can recite, they can tell you uh, chapter and verse. And some of our very strong Christian people and, and, and love Jesus and, and, and their lives are, 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 are really parallel to what God wants of them. And then there's others that you, you look at their life and, and it's, um, and I, I, you know, the, the word hypocrite goes out there a lot. Um, and I guess that's what it comes down to some people. But uh, um, I look at it as more, you know, people have a lot of knowledge, but not a lot of common sense. Um, and, and along with common sense comes, comes a, a relationship with God, you know, just knowing what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, how you're supposed to do it. Um, and to me, that's Nehemiah. That's, that's Ezra. Those are the ones who, um, you know, they knew the word of God. They, 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 they tried to speak the truth. They tried to do these things, but, um, um, but they also put prayer to it. They also put, um, you know, their voice and their encouragement and, and, and most of all their prayers, you know, um, just be, being ones who are willing to pray about what to say and how to say it and how to do it. Um, and a lot of times we don't, we don't think that through either. So um, some real good scripture really in Nehemiah today, I thought. And, and, uh, and, and I pray you join us at 1030 for service, either uh, come and, and, and be a part of service here or again, um, if you're not feeling comfortable, and I totally understand, um, you know, the different ones who have, um, um, you know, age, age issues and, and, um, um, and acceptable to the, the, the virus or could be, um, you know, I don't want you putting yourself in any, any, any danger. Um, and, and we can worship together online and uh, we'll be on Facebook Live too. So hey, just have a great day, um, you know, being before the Lord. If it's in, if it's in, in the church or if it's in your living room, um, if it's out in your patio, uh, wherever it is, 
just spend your time with, with Jesus this morning. God bless you all. Have a great day today, and I will see you Monday morning.